We shall now understand the jQuery UI modal dialog. The dialog as is made available to us by the jQuery. Once we understand it, then we will go to add controls to it. So let us now see the UI modal dialog as given to us by the jQuery website. This is the website jQueryUI.com and here you will find in uh, this is the modal dialog and here you will find a number of uh, examples. If we click on one example then we see the corresponding source code associated with it. And uh, this dialog is basic modal and we shall be using this dialog in our project. A quality of modal dialog is that when it pops up clicking on anything below is not possible. It will appear a slightly grayed out. This everything is done by jQuery. We only have to pop up the dialog. Now we should learn two things here. First is how to pop up. Second how to uh, set the content. Our content will contain the UI controls that will correspond to the editing dialog, editing um, form. For this we can scroll downwards to see the source code and let us do so. This is we have scrolled down. This is the source code for this. So starting from here this is the UI CSS file. This is the jQuery. This is the jQuery UI and this is something internal for this particular web page. So we don't have to worry about this. These three are basically we have already added through the bundles. So now we should come to the code here. The code here says function. So this is executed the moment this page is uh, run. Generally this would be done through a click event or something like that. It says dollar hash dialog hyphen model dot dialog and two parameters are passed to it. Hash dialog model means this ID. So to pop up this dialog we should call the dialog function on this ID. This is the dialog function. It is called like this dollar hash whatever dot dialog bracket starts bracket ends curly brace starts curly brace ends and this is the semicolon and here you are setting two properties one is modal true this is being set in json format doing this will throw this dialog as a pop-up and by default we should keep it hidden how we can keep it hidden by setting the style display none they have already set it hidden because of this CSS file that they included here we'll do it in, on our own we'll add some code to this one there there's no problem about it and this is the content inside it adding the modal overlay and this will be the title everything therefore boils down to just having a dive with a suitable ID and a title and its inner HTML whatever you want to set will be shown as the inner HTML of the dialog that pops up and the popping up code is this. With this in mind let us now proceed further. This is our index.cshtml page what we shall be doing is we have to show the order data on this page and simultaneously an edit button here 